so guys um right now i'm going to be covering momentum and venn diagrams okay so question one a hundred gram tennis ball underline hundred gram hundred gram tennis ball strikes a wall at 10 meters per second that is the velocity and bounces back in the opposite direction at eight meters per second okay so what i want you to do is to write down the givens you have a hundred gram right so mass is equals to 100 gram okay and then you are giving strikes at 10 meters per second so your initial velocity is equals to 10 meters per second and then you have they say and bounces back in the opposite direction at 8 meters per second so your final velocity is equals to 8 meters per second okay now the first thing you are asked to do is to calculate the change in momentum of the ball so guys before any calculation i need you to write down what is happening to draw an illustration okay so they, they say 100 gram tennis ball strikes a wall so this is my wall that's my wall okay guys yeah this is basically my wall it's not a ladder guys it's not a steps it's not a ladder it's a wall so they say this tennis ball strikes at 10 meters per second this is my tennis ball strikes at 10 meters per second 10 meters per second and then they say it bounces back in the opposite direction opposite direction at 8 meters per second so this tennis ball it bounces back at what at 8 meters per second okay guys so now you have an idea that okay this ball went to the wall and then bounced back so basically the velocity change from 10 to 8 so momentum and velocity they are you know in proportion so when momentum is 10 you know and then now it's 8 which means the velocity decreased decreased remember that p is equal to mv so now the velocity has changed to 8 meaning the velocity has decreased which means the momentum would also decrease do you do you guys get it but okay then they told they asked us to calculate the change in momentum of the ball now what is the formula for changing momentum of the ball change in p is equals to p final minus p initial okay now you have to, to choose your direction the right is positive or left i'm choosing right as positive this is what i say right as positive the right direction is positive guys remember to always choose your direction choose your direction in each and every calculation for physical science okay now my right is positive so which means this 10 meters per second it's positive because it's going towards the right so this is my positive now this one is going towards the left so which means it's negative 8 okay now your it's going to be m times v final minus m times v initial okay and then you have what is your mass your mass is 100 gram so you have to convert that 100 gram to 100 kg so converting from 100 gram 100 gram to kg right what you have to do you divide by thousand so you're going to say 100 divided by 1000 how much so on my calculator 100 100 divided by 1000 you have 0 0,1 0 0,1 kg okay now that is your mass so where there's mass you have 0 0,1 all right now your final velocity it's negative 8 guys this is my sign negative 8 minus my mass what is my mass my mass is 0 0.1 and then my initial velocity the initial velocity is going to be positive 10 okay and then on my calculator this is my calculator i write what i have 0 0.1 times negative 8 minus minus 0 0.1 times 10 okay now you have negative 1,8 this is the answer that i have i get negative 1,8 now it's kilograms meters per second so now it's negative i said right it's positive so which means 
this momentum is going to be 1,8 kilograms meters per second to the left left is the direction guys okay so then yeah now the second question they asked you to calculate what use the vector diagram to illustrate this change okay now when you use the vector the vector diagram to illustrate this change the the vector diagram so um guys for question b right we were asked to also draw the vector diagram so when you draw the vector diagram you should have p f p i and change in p where p f is your final momentum initial momentum and then change in p is your change in momentum so 0 0.8 0 0.1 i mean times negative 8 is equals to negative 0 0.8 right you jot that down negative 0 0.8 right okay and then for this one you say 0 0.1 0 0.1 times 10 you get 1 right now this is to the left remember i said the right is positive now this is 1 it's kilogram meters per second the same as this it's going to be kilogram meters per second okay now this one it's right to the right and then the change in momentum is going to the left okay so then you you draw remember you remember this formula guys your change in p is equals to p final minus p initial okay now look at what i'm going to do i'm going to say p final is equals to change in p plus p initial okay please take time and understand that formula all right now after understanding that formula this is how you're going to draw your vector diagram your p your p your p initial it's what it's one kilogram meters per second to the right so this is my one that is my p what p initial one kilogram meters per second okay fine um I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry about my camera. Sharp, right? So my P initial is equals to 1 kilogram per, per second. Now my change in P is 1.8 to the left. So my change in, my change in momentum is 1.8 kilogram meters to the left. So it's going to cover 1, right? Right, guys. And then it's going to cover... 0.8 so that is my what my change in change in equals to 1,8 kilogram meters per second because it's going to the left hence this direction right okay now after that then you draw your p final so you first draw these ones that are on the sum p initial and then change in p then you draw p final so p final we P final was this is our P final was negative 0 0.8 meters per second right so it's going to the left because it's negative so now look at this beautiful drawing that I'm going to draw guys this vector diagram look at that genius just look at this genius just look at that now this that's your p what that is your p your p final right now your p final is equal to what 0 0.8 meters per second so yep guys this is the this is basically the the vector diagram this little piece this punky punky this is your vector diagram that's what basically question two was asking for i hope guys you understand this video and like everything like make sense around here cheers